Hi, I'm going to show you how to add subtitles to movies and TV shows that you're watching with an XPMC. It's very easy to do and it involves using an add-on that comes already built into your XPMC. If you go to System and then Add-ons and then choose Get Add-ons then choose XBMC.org Add-ons Subtitles And then within subtitles, you'll see a add-on called XBMC Subtitles. Select that with your remote and then choose Install. So once that's installed, you'll see a icon on the bottom right-hand corner saying uh, Add-on Installed. You want to then come out of that uh, menu and the menus you've gone into until you come back to the menu that says Appearance, Settings, uh, Add-ons, uh, System, etc. So on this menu, choose the top option, which is for appearance. This will show you the menu for skin settings. So scroll to the right and choose the settings under skin. Then scroll down and choose add-ons, which is the add-on shortcuts. On the right-hand side, you will see video OSD, which stands for on-screen display. Click on subtitle add-on and then choose XBM subtitles. What this does is puts XBMC subtitles as the default subtitle add-on when you're within the film and you choose to use subtitles. So with this selected you'll see on the right hand side XBM subtitles in yellow which means that's selected now. So now it's time to go and select a movie that you want to watch with subtitles and we'll see how you bring up the on-screen display and add them. When you press the OK button on your remote, the on-screen display will pop up at the bottom. If you scroll to the right, you'll see a round icon, which is the subtitles icon. It's like a square with a bar at the bottom. If you select this, so in the pop-up screen you can see a list of subtitles available for this movie. The add-on basically goes onto, onto the internet and gets hold of uh, subtitles from specific servers which are loaded with thousands and thousands of different subtitles. So just choose the subtitle you want and then press the return key and you'll be back out onto your movie. Now there may be a need to alter the timing of the way that the subtitles appear on the screen. They might be too far ahead or they might be too far back. So this is easy to rectify. If you click on the bottom button that looks like a speaker this will bring up a small menu which will give you a list of options to do with the subtitles. If you scroll down to subtitle offset and choose this, it will bring up a slider at the top of the screen which you can use and adjust to either put the subtitles ahead a bit or put them back a bit. Incidentally this can be done whilst the film is playing and it's a good idea to have the film playing whilst you're doing the offset timings to see whether or not they appear when they're supposed to appear. Have a play around with it and you'll see uh, how easy it is to do. When you're happy with the way they look, just press the return key on your remote and it'll bring you back out to the on-screen display. Now, now that you've got subtitles set up, it's very easy just to turn them on and off from the on-screen display. If you click the small speaker icon again down on the bottom right hand side, above subtitle offset you've got the option to just turn subtitles on and off when you wish. It's especially handy when you download a film that's got the subtitles built in as part of the uh, video file. So yes, just clicking this on and off button here will disable them or enable them.